Hi, my name's Evan. I'm Joey. I'm Dylan. I'm Jack. We are Greasies. <laughs> Our company is Snapshot. Who are we? We're four friends who met playing football. Naturally, we spent a lot of time together and it came across that, hey, we should start a business. So that's exactly what we did. We started Greek Sheets back in September of 2022 and later became an LLC in March of 2023. Okay, so what is the problem that we're solving? Let me paint you a picture. You just got done washing your sheets and you wanna go and take a nice rest and you're starting to make your bed. You get three corners on, you're going to get that fourth corner and then boom, the other three corners just pop right off. Or you're in the middle of a nice sleep and you kick off the corner of your sheet and you wake up engulfed in your fitted sheet and you're thinking there has to be a better way. <laughs> we have the solution. So what we've created, we have a little demo here. Um, we took the basic flat sheet and we put grommets on each corner um, and we have these straps that are in an X pattern under the bed and there's hooks on each side of the strap that uh, connect to the um, grommets, uh, creating a firm hold and um, sort of reduce that, uh, all of the problems that you get with the normal fitted sheet, like the edges slipping out, and um, since it's a fitted sheet, it's easier to fold. And uh, the sheets that we use currently have a thread count of 500, which I know a lot of the parents like. <laughs> and uh, we would also like to point out that uh, it fits a lot better on a traditional full-size or queen-size bed because those are a lot thicker, as you know. We're unable to transport one here, so we had to make do with their mattress that we have. <laughs> Looking at our competition, in the top half of the slide here, we can see an example of a product on the market right now attempting to solve the problem of the fitted sheet. You can also see not very good reviews, uh, saying don't even bother, and really just showing the lack of functionality in these products. Um, and overall, really just showing, um, yeah. So, and then we can also see an example, the fitted sheet set, which will be another uh, competition for our product. Uh, which shows for around fifty dollars on Amazon right now, just to give you a good idea of what our of what people are paying for sheets right now. Our unique value proposition: Why are we better than a fitted sheet? Why should you purchase us? First of all, it's really easy to wash. We can take our sheet on and off, and because of the easy attachment, you can buy multiple Greek sheets, have a rotation, put them in the wash super easily, and it keeps your sheets clean. Additionally, it's super easy to clip on. All you have to do is strap on a corner. Uh, one four times instead of stretching this elastic sheet dealing with all these problems. It saves you a lot of time, it's a lot easier. And finally, it'll stay on the bed. Our straps are secure. You're not gonna deal with waking up in the middle of the night wrapped up in your sheet. It's gonna stay on, it's gonna be secure. It's a lot better than the fitted sheet. Okay, our target market. For primary users, we think it'll be college students because it'll make living in dorm life so much easier. You know, it's crooked, our, but our cramps, not a lot of space and this just makes it easy to switch out your sheets. Now for buyers, we think it must be parents and like families because they're the ones that are really gonna be furnishing the rooms and the kid isn't really gonna be buying it on their own. When we expand and get a little bit bigger, we would like to branch out to like hotel owners, maybe like uh, nursing homes, somewhere where they have to change a lot of sheets every day and like it's in the time, in turn saving them money. So moving forward, in order to um, sort of figure out how other people thought about our products that ranged outside of people we knew that were just trying to be nice to us. Um, we gave our sheet to 20 high school seniors that are going to college next year, and we got their feedback and how they um, sort of perceived the sheet in terms of functionality. Looking at the results of our market test, uh, of the 20 people we asked to rate it between one and five, 75% of those people rated it between four and five giving us a good idea of the functionality and reliability of our product going forward as we try to sell our sheet. Testimonials. We asked people, what do you think? One kid, Matthew Hansen, we asked, uh, he said he really enjoyed the sheet. He said it was really comfortable to sleep on. It was really easy to put him on his bed. He, he's a soccer player. He has a lot of late nights. You did your laundry during the day and you get home and all you want to do is go to bed. And he said he really appreciated how it was super easy to put on, and when he was really tired, he didn't have to deal with putting on the mattress. Uh, and more importantly, we asked one of the friend's moms that we gave what, they, what she thought of the product. She loved it. She thought it would save her so much time. She really saw the washing and easy attachment as a big plus in her day. She doesn't have to spend all this time making her kid's bed, which she really shouldn't have to do. 
but she does, you know. And it saves her a ton of time and in turn really frees up her day. Okay, so our market sizing. Our total addressable market is around 33,000 people, and those are students at CSU. We chose CSU because we have personal connections there. Uh, our service addressable market is around 8,200 students, and those are people living in the dorm halls at CSU. And our service attainable market is around 600 students. Those are people living in a specific dorm hall for eight of them. Um, so for current marketing, we have our TikTok, where we post like little skits, um, but all of which is under our name. So we're kind of like providing entertainment while also getting our name out there. And then um, we've been giving shirts out for $20 around just to make some extra money on the side. And then throughout the campus, you can see our stickers on um, Chromebooks, drawers, uh, just trying to get a little more marketing in. And then um, in the future, we're looking at um, setting up stands at colleges to um, sort of see how they feel about the product and uh, to get on Facebook Marketplace to sort of um, get to the like, older um, demographic that we're looking for, like the moms. <laughs> Looking at our uh, cost of goods sold, uh, adding up all the sheets, the grommet, and the straps underneath, it costs us around $14 to make one product. We plan to sell our product at a price of $30 uh, per unit, and which will give us a profit of $15.5 per unit we sell. Our right, and predictions for one year and five years. First year, uh, we plan to sell about five units a month, progressively scaling up, and the five-year projections is based off of the first-year projections. We'd like to stress that we are full-time student athletes. We don't have much time to put into the company, uh, reason being why our sales are so low, but we would like to continually scale up the product with your help, and yeah. Okay, next steps. What's next up for Greek Sheets? We'd like to improve the functionality of our prototype and kind of give it a concrete design that we can stick with. We'd also like to scale up our production, it, uh, get in contact with overseas manufacturers and try and mass produce it. Uh, we want to further market our product, trying to reach those families. And we would also like to make our product attainable via our website. So what are we asking for? We are asking for $1,000 and 300 of which will go to marketing ads, such as the Facebook Marketplace to get to those moms, and then the, and $700 to sort of amp up our production, um, maybe look for some uh, large-scale manufacturing to sort of get that initial um, sales going. Any questions?